fellow classmates of School of Media and Communication. My name is Sarah and I'll be taking you guys around the media hall in which you'll be spending a lot of your student life in. So shall we take a look at what's inside? Let's go! This is the lounge that is located on the first floor. It's the place where students come to work on their assignments, team projects, and also come to take rest. The Academic Affairs Office is located on the second floor. This is a place that takes care of administrative issues, so if you have any problems, then feel free to ask. On the fourth floor, there is a movie theater called the KU Cinema Trap. If you're a student of Korea University, you can get a discount for your movie ticket purchases. On the first floor basement is a School of Media and Communications Department Lounge. It's a good area for students to rest up. Our major's department lounge is known for being one of the bigger ones. Also, in the beginning of the semester, you can get information about media and communication run academic clubs right here. Students can access the School of Media and Communications Facebook page and also receive news about the School of Media and Communication by adding KU Media School's yellow ID on Kakao Talk. Now shall we go to the basement of the Central Plaza? There are various and useful facilities located here. This is a Unis store. This is a place where you can buy textbooks and Korea University merchandise like t-shirts and hoodies. This is the one-stop service center. You can issue or reissue your student ID and you can also receive your transcript and other various official documents right here. Here is the reading room where you can study. In order to enter, you must make a reservation by putting your student ID onto the machine and then enter. If the allotted time that you have reserved is finished, then you must make a reservation extension. Also, there are several cafes and restaurants here, so check it out. Speaking about food, how about we check out some of the places to eat around school? There are two student cafeterias, one on the first floor of the International Studies Hall and one on the first and second floors of the Student Union Building. It is cheaper than dining out at a restaurant. If you want to eat out at a restaurant near campus, many students usually eat at the ones near the back gate of the Political Science Building and Chamsari Road. Depending on what you're craving, you can choose between the delicious restaurants located there. You can borrow books and other reference materials at the Central Library. Also, you can look up what you're trying to find on the Korea University Library website and locate the material that you're looking for before borrowing it. Students can borrow a maximum amount of 10 books and reference materials for 15 days and must use their student ID to do so. Korea University has many Hana Banks and Hana Bank ATMs around campus. The bank is located next to the Student Union Building. The ATM on the second floor of Wudong Hall, the first floor of the International Studies Hall, Central Plaza, and other locations. Korea University is home to more than 100 clubs of various fields. During the 15th and 16th of March, there is a club fair that takes place in the People's Square in front of the Student Union Building. So if you want to know more about future clubs that you can join, take a look around. You must be excited about the two most famous festival events at Korea University called Ipsalanti and the Koyan Games. Ipsalanti is held during the end of May and the Koyan Games the end of September. You don't want to miss out on the cheering culture that is unique to Korea University. Look out for notifications about the festivals from the Media and Communication Student Council so you can enjoy them to the fullest. Aren't you excited for your next couple of years at KU? I hope that some of my tips will be of help to your school life. Hope to see you soon! Bye!